Good afternoon. Birmingham has been chosen to be the pilot area for Lord Heseltine's plan to stimulate regional economic growth. The former Deputy Prime Minister released a report in October last year that said more power should be shifted from Whitehall to major cities like Birmingham. Well, BBC WM's political reporter Elizabeth Glinka is in the city centre ahead of the launch this lunchtime. So, Elizabeth, how have we got to this stage? Hi Katie, well yes you find me in the heart of Birmingham's business district. Two months ago we were hearing from Lord Heseltine about his ideas for how the government could stimulate economic growth and now we're here to find out that Birmingham later this afternoon is going to be announced as the pilot region for some of these ideas. I'm joined now by Lord Heseltine who, who as we said is the man behind, behind all of this. So Lord Heseltine here two months ago revealing your report, revealing your ideas here today to announce Birmingham's the pilot zone. So why choose Birmingham? Well, the exciting thing is that uh, I didn't choose Birmingham and, <laughs> and the government didn't choose Birmingham. Uh, Birmingham chose to approach the Prime Minister and said it had looked at the report and uh, could they play a part in giving an indication of how it could work in practice. Uh, and the Prime Minister wrote back and said yes. In part why, of did, the, why did the Prime Minister think that Birmingham was the right place then? Why, why here? Well, I don't think that anyone looked across the country and said which would be the right place. Birmingham took the initiative. You see, one of the things in my report which is so important is that too many people look to London and think something should happen there. What Birmingham did, and this is what I admire, is to say, no, no, we want to be a part of this. We want to take the initiative. If there's going to be a real shift from London to the provinces, we want to be ahead of the game. And they then took the initiative and the Prime Minister agreed. I think that was very exciting and a very great tribute to Birmingham. Birmingham is a city that faces many challenges. We have above average unemployment here. So what difference do you think your plan could make? Well, you know, the one thing that we all know is that there's a very serious economic situation across the world and uh, there's no escape in any short or medium term from the, from the problems of fighting through that. But the big shift that I've been trying to advocate is that Britain's provinces should play a much bigger role in determining their own destiny. Uh, this will not change things overnight. This will not show a burst of unemployment reduction in, in a month or a year. But in the longer term, it puts the dynamic into the hands of local people. And there's some very powerful and very impressive local people in this area. How much better that they should try to set the pace than wait for civil servants in London to do it? What is it about bringing in the private sector then, to, to bringing in these business people to help direct these funds that is superior to, say, giving it to local government? Well, I think you've just answered your own question. Local government is not business. It is not wealth creating. It's not there to do that. It is there to administer all sorts of services which society needs. But if you want to create jobs, you want to create wealth, you want to see prosperity, then you've got to involve the private sector. And that's why the LEPs, the local enterprise partnerships, which are, of course, between the private sector and local government, are the right vehicle. Well, all eyes will be on Birmingham then to see how this pilot scheme goes here in the second city to see if it's then possible for other cities to take up the same opportunities. Elizabeth, thank you. But businesses here say the recovery is slow and growth in orders for goods made in the Midlands has fallen in the last few months. As our business correspondent Peter Plisner reports, they're asking the government for more help. Busy and getting busier, this firm's bucking the Midlands trend with order books continuing to rise at a rapid pace. But bosses here say it's only happening because of growth abroad. Europe is flat, the UK follows it, and um, it's the developing markets around the world, developing manufacturing markets, that are busy. But it's not the same picture everywhere. Many Midlands manufacturers say the trading environment has got much tougher and has slowed significantly. And confidence in 2013 is down. And that's not good for growth or job creation. The latest survey from the Birmingham Chamber of Commerce shows order books declining, with the number of companies reporting increased UK sales down from 37 to 33 percent, and growth in exports falling from 45 to 37 percent. The region's service sector fared better thanks to events like last year's Conservative Party conference, which boosted bookings for many businesses. 
Elsewhere in the region, prospects for 2013 are better. This is Jaguar Land Rover's engine plant being built at the I-54 site near Wolverhampton. Many Midlands manufacturers will benefit from increased work once it's up and running. This is vitally important to Staffordshire and the Black Country and Birmingham. This is UK important, regionally important and important for the Staffordshire and Wolverhampton councils. Everyone's hoping for a better 2013, but the reality is the recession and the continuing crisis in the Eurozone won't make things easy. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today in Birmingham. A murder inquiry has begun.